Have you been instructed by the department or the government to undertake though, that um, enforcement or uh, review action um, under lockdown four? No. No, the government doesn't instruct our inspectors to so do anything. Done it off yeah. Yeah. So I, I ask that in the mind that it appears that the government hasn't yet given any business, small business or other support through to any of these businesses yet, but we've managed to start policing them for their compliance. Do, is that... I'm not sure. Not I'm sure, not sure what the Mr. question, Mr. question is. All right, guys. So that's just a video of uh, a parliamentary inquiry that's going on at the moment. Uh, one of the hearings, and that's a member of parliament, Richard Riordan, a Liberal member, uh, uh, asking, I think, someone from WorkSafe, um, and he continues to ask them a, a couple more questions to the uh, work, workplace safety minister uh, from the Labor Party. Now, what he's talking about here is the fact that somehow. The Victorian Labor government and the bureaucratic system that surrounds them have managed to lock down the state, uh, you know, lock down small businesses, put them in this kind of very precarious situation. Uh, and before they've been man managed to offer the businesses support, which is, you know, it's been a couple of weeks now since this circuit breaker lockdown, before they've managed to offer businesses support payments and, you know, begin that process in a proper way, uh, they have already started to close down businesses and find businesses. So the efficiencies in government uh, tend to go towards the, <laughs> the spectrum where it's more about, uh, you know, compliance for small businesses rather than support for small businesses. Now, why is it important? Well, it's important for many uh, reasons, but the main reason is that small businesses have suffered the most um, you know, with these rolling lockdowns. And to think that the government is solely focused on fining businesses, um, they have the mechanisms in place to put these things in place so efficiently to have already conducted these fines and closures of businesses goes to show you where their priorities are. Now, I'm going to play the rest of this video where the, um, the uh, workplace minister comes in to say that, oh, this is not, uh, you know, the purview of this particular uh, inquiry, so we cannot continue to discuss this. Minister. Moving on. Mr. Ridden, you put a proposition. The minister is entitled to answer it. Well, we didn't ask the minister. Mr. Ridden, you put a proposition to... No, Mr. Sorry. Mr. Ridden, you put a proposition to the other side of the table and the minister is entitled to answer it. Minister, would you like to clarify for the committee that your government has not yet paid out any small business loans but has started enforcing... Found time oh, well, that's not within fine. the workplace safety portfolio, Mr. Reardon. I was merely going no, to add fining. to... Mr. Reardon. Uh, I mean, come on. It's a simple question. Have you, you know, have you started fining businesses instead of, um, you know, offering them support? Um, but here we, here we get the spin. Of a number of agencies that have been responding throughout the pandemic and um, the health and safety uh, work safe inspectors, part of their remit is to ensure that Victorian workplaces are safe, including mitigating against any risks associated with COVID-19. Uh, so how many agencies would that be, Minister? Oh, look, there's a number of different agencies involved in, uh, obviously, to put the health team, uh, authorised officers and the like. Oh, interesting. Interesting, Ingrid. Does that relate to the Labor government's screw-up in hotel quarantine and the uh, deaths of hundreds of Victorians caused by the negligence, the workplace negligence of the Andrews administration that uh, failed uh, the Victorian people in such a circumstance that we found ourselves in last year? Now, you know, apparently there's nothing wrong with a whole, people, whole group of people that work in power, that work in government forgetting uh, what, who did what, uh, saying that I don't recall. Now, imagine that these people came to uh, find these small businesses and close them down, and the, you, <laughs> the small business had failed to implement a QR code checking system, and that's the reason they got a fine. Could the small business owner then say, I don't recall ever hearing that that was a requirement? No, the, these businesses have been fined and closed down for, you know, petty things like this uh, during such a struggle that they're going through right now where they're throwing out food, 
their their venues have been closed for months on end. They're not sure how to make ends meet. There's no job keeper as such. You know, there's no uh, job seeker as such as well for some a lot of these businesses. So when the Andrews government is able to flaunt workplace laws, uh, when they're able to I don't recall for everything that's asked of them and get away without any consequences, without any fines, uh, without anyone's re heads really rolling for the debacle that they caused last year. Do you think it's fair that uh, the workplace uh, safety people are going around to small businesses and uh, shutting them down and fining them for not being in compliance with these, you know, somewhat uh, crazy, draconian, mandatory things that are being placed on our businesses here? So how many agencies would that be, Minister? Oh, look, there's a number of different agencies involved in, uh, obviously, to put the health team, uh, authorised officers and the like, but WorkSafe is one small part of, of that overall effort. You haven't got the small business support team operating yet. Mr. Well, I can't answer questions in relation to that, Mr. Reardon, because no. that's not part of my portfolio. Mr. Newbury, you don't have the call, Mr. Reardon, if you could keep Capture your questions to the relevant portfolio Capture and the relevant estimates. Mr. Reardon, Mr. Reardon, Mr. Reardon, could you please keep your questions to the relevant? I mean, what do you think? Do you think it's a relevant question? You got the workplace uh, minister there. Uh, there's WorkSafe going around finding businesses. It's relevant, I think, to put to these people, well, do you have a, the business support people? Are they running up and running as well? Those things are line up with each other because businesses are having to break these rules sometimes because they don't have the support from the government uh, to just, you know, <laughs> to push that question away and saying it's not my portfolio. It just goes to show that this is why we never get answers to any of these problems that we're having.